Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm finally going to watch the Final Fate Evansville movie today. And man, I'm really excited to watch this. I really loved the, the previous two movies and really want to see how this story is going to end. Um, and first of all, uh, I also want to apologize to you guys for taking a bit long to react to this movie. But uh, there's um, actually a good reason for that. So during um, these past few days, uh, I wasn't uh, able to hear too well from uh, my left side. And of course, I was not going to watch something like this um, without being able to fully enjoy uh, the sound experience. So it's something that um, these movies are known for, the really good uh, soundtracks. And I'm expecting this uh, final one um, to not disappoint with that. So I wanted to, um, to wait until I was... Um, in full condition to to watch this movie to fully enjoy it um so yeah hopefully you guys um, understand that and right now i am uh, as i said really excited to see how this is uh, going to end and mostly for um, for shiro and sakura since they are uh, the main protagonists of this uh, route i guess um, and yeah, it's, it, it was really impressive to watch um, every single so far and uh, I can't even um, I can't even tell how many times I already rewatch uh, that fight between the uh, Berserker and uh, Saber. That was uh, definitely one of my favorite scenes uh, so far. Um, and mostly, like, not just because of dual, uh, dual animation that was uh, already really epic, um, but uh, the soundtrack that was playing uh, alongside with it um, is probably my favorite out of these um, two first movies. So, definitely loved uh, that moment, and I made sure to um, rewatch uh, some of uh, the moments from these um, previous two movies just to be uh, more aware of. Um, of some details, like to not be completely lost during uh, this um, this third movie. Um, so yeah, it's um, again. Cu uh, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Sakura because um, she like the the movie ended with her actually killing uh, uh, Shinji. So that was quite something, and I can't really say that I felt bad for him since uh, uh, he was doing some really bad things, um, and he was actually during that moment he was about to do it uh, again so that was uh, still um, quite the moment like to see her uh, killing him out of nowhere um and yeah it's um, like it's this thing inside of her like uh, this um, this shadow and it's apparently like the um i don't know how exactly to say it but it's related to the Holy grail so i remember uh, zoken saying that um, he placed uh, some um, like some parts of the Holy Grail inside of um, of Sakura or something and uh, like developed it for 10 years. I'd, I'm not too sure if this is the right way to say it, but it's uh, uh, like the way I'm um, thinking of uh, right now. Um, and yeah, now this is like, um, this triggers uh, sometimes and uh, uh, it happened during that moment with uh, Shinji. Um, and that was um, like the, the one that... Um, I don't know how to say it, but the most uh, um, impactful one, I guess, since uh, then uh, they showed her with um, that new outfit, basically that uh, Shadow's um, appearance. Um, and yeah, I believe uh, that people call uh, this Sakura uh, Dark Sakura, so I'm also going to call um, her that while she's uh, in this form at least. Um, and yeah, it was also really interesting to see Shiro's decision because uh, uh, he was basically betraying um, his, um, his ideal and uh, Kiritsugu's one as well. I mean, uh, it's um, something that's been a thing during um, uh, these routes. Um, and yeah, now he's going to do things differently. So we actually decided to protect uh, Sakura and uh, fight against uh, the world uh, in order to protect the one uh, he loves. Um, so this is really different from um, from before and uh, like his um, idealism. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what uh, he will do as well. Uh, I believe um, he was um, about to go and confront uh, uh, Zoken. Uh, I don't remember if it's Zoken or Zeken. I'm a bit... Um, I think it's Zoken, right? Need to be more sure um, about that. Um, but yeah, there's also something that... Um, 
I'm curious about and I mean there's a lot of things that I'm curious about and I'm just like um, remembering uh, all of them um, at the same time and trying to talk a bit uh, about each of them. Um, and of course, you guys know just uh, how much I love Ryder, so uh, also really excited to see more of her. I remember that um, this uh, previous movie ended with uh, Sakura using uh, her final command spell, um, but uh, I don't know uh, what exactly it was about, so they didn't uh, reveal it and hopefully it will be mentioned during this movie, um, but this basically means that... Um, uh, Ryder uh, has no master anymore, right? So since Sakura used uh, her final one, um, they're not uh, master and servant uh, anymore. So I really hope that um, there's a way to save Sakura from this because it's not like uh, she's doing this because she wants. She's just not uh, uh, able to go against uh, this power that she uh, possesses right now. Um, and yeah, there was also a scene that I rewatched and... Um, I actually didn't remember that happening, um, but it seems that Gilgamesh actually, like, at least he got um, eaten by Sakura, so I'm assuming that he actually died, and that was something that I was not aware of, and uh, thankfully I rewatched that um, that situation to be, uh, to, like, um, to remember it. Um, and yeah, there's uh, again a lot of things that I'm thinking about and uh, I just really can't wait to, um, to watch this movie and see uh, what exactly is going to happen and to see more of these um, epic moments. I mean, I'm expecting some really cool fights to happen once again and hopefully Ryder will uh, have some time to shine since uh, unfortunately during some other routes uh, she wasn't... Um, she wasn't uh, like lucky for that, so it, during the um, Fate Stay Night uh, route, uh, like I don't know if there's like um, another way to say it because this is also Fate Stay Night, but uh, Evans feel, uh, but uh, I guess like the main one or something like the I can call it the Unlimited Blade Works, I guess. Um, but during that one, she was um, killed pretty early. So that's something that I was really sad uh, about because the moment I met her, uh, I instantly fell in love with her old design and stuff. Um, and yeah, now I'm really happy to see that during this route, at least, um, she's having some more time to shine and thankfully she wasn't uh, killed, at least yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens during this movie. Just really can't wait to start it. So, with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start it! Man, it's been a while since I watched the... Um, some fate content, especially a movie. I mean, a football, they never disappoint. Oh, damn. Shiro got there. Oh, it's him. I hate this guy so much. Zoken. Brasilia. Green. It's so nice to see them again. So I believe Berserker got killed, so Ilya isn't a master anymore.
Archer Soul. Oh, it's Ryder! Instantly! Damn! She's going to appear right next to Ilya. Damn. Train. His power. Holy, oh, she needs to be careful. Oh, damn. Man, she better not kill Rin. Wield you. Oh, there's Ryder and Shiro now. You got here. Hmm. It's going to trigger. Sakura, like this dark Sakura, I guess. Really out of herself. Ryder got him again. Oh, that was her... 
when she used the command spell. That's what she asked her to do. Damn. Wait, really? With Saber! Man... Holy... You'd be like Saber! Oh, will the... Holy... The start of this movie already... And the saber altar though. So one sucker to be saved, but Man... Here That... Hmm... You're gonna have more influence, most likely. Man. 
And seeing Sakura attacking Green though... That was painful. Spring Song. Man, already so many emotions right off the bat. Wait, what? Okay then. Man, you said that really felt like she was... dead. He leaves me to be in danger. that the army got from Archer wonder if he's going to to use it To say to say Sakura though. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Hmm. To be careful with this guy though. She's there. And there's like this bond between her and Sakura, so of course she's mad about all of this. Kiritsugu. He's talking about Kiritsugu, right?
his logic. I mean, that shadow is bad. Castle, all of that destruction from before. Yeah, I get what Kiri is saying. Even though it's not like Sakura's actual doing, it's like she's influenced by this shadow. She would still feel really bad about this happening in a part because of her. I hope she gets saved, that they remove that shadow, somehow. I wonder how that would be possible. Mountain climbing. There's a um, cellar and the uh... like leaves. Not too sure. Okay then, that timing, well that's a way to get inside I guess. I really like those two, love their moments during Fate Khalid. Doesn't want you to sacrifice yourself for this, and neither do I. I mean, they're brothers, so not like blood related, but exactly. Hmm. 
There's a point there, but it's really complicated. Really? Is Kira reading a beautiful moment between them? Yeah. Oh. It's like getting used to it. Holy. Who circle is? Berserker. Oh, damn, here we go. The music. It's similar to the previous one. A son. Oh, that's cool. Damn! I mean, Ilya is really skilled, so... And I guess it's Dark Sakura is able to... Use these servants that she... Ate before or something? There's a berserker. I mean, the only servant they have on their side is... Ryder, right? It's not going to do that. Kyrie fighting assassin though. Oh, the church. It's all destroyed. Oh, it was Zoken.
We got it. I'm trying to remember if... Hey, who is this one? Holy... going to kill Kirei? There's nothing there. How did he do that? Oh, damn. Kiri Elason. Damn. Just like that, Zoken dies. All these words from the scripture. Such an epic moment with Kiri. I will need to understand that better though. When Asan uses uh, Noble Phantasm. And also, this woman Kira loved, was this mentioned before? I can't remember something like that. Damn. And he said they had a child together, but was uh, that child born? Or was she pregnant when she killed herself? I'll need to understand some things a lot better. Man, that was an epic moment with Kirei, that's for sure. Hmm. Exactly, that doesn't matter. Going to use it.
Yeah, that's something I'm curious about. I mean, Berserker was her servant, after all. They were really close to each other as well. Music, limited blade works. Damn, this version, though. Damn. This is why I wanted to be able to hear. Perfectly. So epic. Was he tracing the weapons of Berserker or something? Trigger off. Nine lives blade works. Which is weapon? Damn, he was able to copy it! Damn, these effects! Holy... Just before he got it. Man, that was so close. Oh, and he's going back to normal before he... Was it... That's his voice! Holy epic moment! Isn't this like literally the first time he ever speaks? I'm telling him to protect Ilya, damn. That really eats you. Oh, their saber. I also wanted saber to go back to normal. So sad to see her like this, even though she looks really cool, of course, but...
Jeez, I remember that. The Avenger? Damn. She just crushes art. Did, did Kiri actually die just now? A berserker is going inside of the grail, so that's why she's being affected. Hmm. Man, this movie already so good. And I might get some of the details wrong. I'm still loving this, and after this, I'm definitely going to make sure I understand it better. What's happening? Oh, is that like... The pain is feeling because of the power he used. Like symbolizing that it feels like many swords stabbing him or something. Is that the pendant? Oh, that's Rin, right? Damn. She's doing better. That's good. I love Rin so much. Her pendant, right? The red one. Hmm. That was... Archer's memories, right? It was like Archer for a bit.
Hmm. Damn. The Avenger. Man, this is big. Angra mind you, I've heard that before. Damn. Hmm. Certain wish. And this explains a lot. Shard of the contents, that's what I tried to say before. That's crazy. All for day. Need to be fast. Oh. 
Oh, the ley line. Juliet Sword. A weapon to fight against Sakura. As a blade. Hmm. And I don't want Shiro to die either. I really like how at least Shiro and Ilya are able to be together like this. Damn, look at those. And this animation never ceases to impress me. Similar. Is that... That's not him, right? Oh, damn! Waver! In this case, is Lord El Meloy. Ryudo Temple. That Irisville. Who now? Man, gonna be hard to remember that name. blood I mean I said that it was Waver like Lord El Malloy but that's his appearance I don't think it's really them there I feel like they're just using their appearances oh that's what he has to trace right
Damn, that was seen. Who's that? Was that Sakura? Oh no, it's Ryder. Yeah, mixed feelings. Creates a really special bond. Man, I love Ryder so much. She wants to save Sakura so badly. Hmm. I wonder if he's still talking about Zoken or the Shadow. I don't think he knows that Zoken just got killed, so. I love this so much. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's her. The shadow. That's actually Sakura. Her actual feelings. It's like all messed up. What's so sad about Sakura? Always suffering. Also, this Lord Magus.
Really? Oh, he's infecting... Just like that. She's going to eat... A son. Damn, without the mask. Oh, damn those things. So that was supposed to be Lord Magus, her grandfather? And he was like in that form, like controlling her? Holy... Crazy... And now there's no one... Messing with her... Hmm. It's about Shiro. She gets affected. Can't say it. Oh, this moment from before, I remember it. It was so sweet. Damn. The few moments when she was actually happy by Shiro's side. The keys he gave her. She better be saved. Really sucks how she's always messed with like this. Hmm. So adorable.
I like Ilya so much. It's down. Damn. That should be where Dark Sakura is. Looks similar. Whose blood is that? that? Assassin's one or? Should be right or Lord Magus, I guess, her grandfather. Is that Saber? Sir. She's allowing her to go alone, like Dark Sakura said. Need to be careful. And I guess both of them are going to fight against Saber. It really sucks how this happened to Saber. Two minutes. Damn, it's going to happen again! She's going to remove it! Man, I'm so excited for this, but... Also scared. Damn. Man, look at that. So epic. Man, that frame with her eyes. And don't be touched by those. Make them look cute, but pretty dangerous. Damn! I love that anima the, the animation. The Greater Grail. Holy...
Hmm. Like she's getting influenced by this power. Her own feelings. Hmm. Not at all. That's not what this is about. Holy... She going to use the weapon. Oh, back to Saber and Rider. Damn. Look at her go. Damn. So fast! Going to use the eyes! Going to petrify! Holy... So epic! Man, I love this so much! To see Ryder... Shining! Incarnations... Oh. Wait, he wants to take control of Saber? Somehow? They need to... And this music. A servant.
Oh, damn. Man, this animation. Holy... So epic. Oh, the chains. The noble phantasm that um I can't remember the name now, but I know what it is. Pegasus, right? Projection, what is he going to use? Saber sword or Wait! Oh, it's that! The shield! Oh, his arm! A noble phantasm! Holy... Man, this is so epic. Oh. Man, this is making me cry for real. Damn, it was the normal saber for a while. That's what the plan was. Holy. Man, this was intense. And Riser. And that was impressive. I really felt that. Sword! Or like a dagger, but... Damn, look at Ringo! Man, this is too good.
that weapon really effective Hmm. Oh, she's doing that again. Now she's able to destroy it. They exploded. didn't deserve that to happen to you. No one deserves that. Damn. Rin saying those things.
Oh damn! I wonder if she did that on purpose. Triggering Sakura. Not sure though. Oh damn, when they were young. Damn, she... So cute. Oh, damn. Oh, she didn't do it! My god, this moment. Wait, Rin got was actually the one being hit. Sakura. Holy... And don't tell me Rin is going to die. And so many emotions right now. With Shiro. Still alive. So painful. Probably not going to be that simple though.
It's not going to give up on you. Damn! Can't say that. You need to be saved. You're not. Is he going to hug her? Damn. Oh, it's Caster's weapon, Rule Breaker. That might do it. If he's able. Damn me eat her. Damn, it's all going away. Damn. That's really good that he could use Rule Breaker for this! Holy... You still need to stop that thing, I mean... I'm so happy that Sakura is not like tied to that thing anymore. Okay, that's not good. Yeah. 
I think. Too sure, maybe is like giving a covering or. Damn. The key. Please house. That's really well said from Ryder. Don't die here. Hmm. And something good was already accomplished. But this is not over yet. Oh, is that... Is that Kirei? It seemed right. It's actually here. He got hit by Sakura before. And all of those blades coming from coming out of his body. Hmm. Oh, damn. They're really different from each other. Oh, damn! Straight away! Damn, it's like every time he gets hit, there's these blades. He gets armed every time he hits Shiro. Holy... Hmm... Damn... That's what he wants to know.
That's Kyrie. All these nose. His fight, though. Man, his body. Wait, survived? Who's these? I reveal. Damn. And they also believe that's not Arisville, but I mean, her appearance. Like they basically used um, their appearances for those specific characters, but this was a long time ago, so it couldn't be them. Damn. So much meaning to this fight. I mean, Kyrie might be a lot of things, like some good, some bad, like mostly bad. He's such a great character. Holy, those visions! So body! 
Cecilia. Oh, that outfit! The Iceburn's outfit. Damn, look at that. Does Ilya, though, is she going to sacrifice herself? Through magic. Ilya. Oh, damn. That's beautiful. But so sad. Dependent. Wait, don't tell me it's going to to save him again. Damn, there's Ryder with both of them. Man, I love these so much. Like all three together. Ilya, though. I want to believe Shiro survived. Is that him? It's Sakura. Damn, that's so... So amazed. 
There's like um, I can't remember the other names, the other one's name. Oh, they're talking about Shiro. So what exactly happened? Oh, they end that outfit. Man, that's so nice to see. She deserves to be happy. His body completely disappeared. That means he's not in this world anymore. Man. The key. I was actually about to say that it was Ryder cooking, but she's here as well. And that thing. Man, I love this so much. But it's still sad, in a way. It's not easy. What is it? Your love for Shiro? Wait! Is this real or... Team Rindo. That's what I like to see. So beautiful.
all of the sakuras so beautiful So happy for her. Man, such a beautiful ending. His music. This made me so happy, this ending. Of course I'm sad about Ilya. Man. The way everything happened. Really loving this song. Once again, I'm really impressed by this movie. Did a phenomenal job. It's also sad that this is the final one. Man, what a masterpiece. These three movies. Just amazing, and I'm sure that at some point I'm going to do like a marathon, watch all three in a row. That's probably going to be a really, really good experience. And also, probably helpful to understand everything better. But man, in the end, it's not like you need to understand everything that's happening to, to feel it. And that's exactly how I feel right now. I mean, I probably, I probably didn't um, understand some of the things that happened during this movie, some of uh, like the details. But man, I really felt that. And that moment, and that fight between Ryder and Saber, man, it's... I can't fully express how much I love that scene, like for really, it, it's something that, something that you feel and uh, sometimes you just can't describe the, the emotions uh, you're feeling at that point, so just really, that made me extremely happy, that's for sure, to see, like just the, the single fact that um, Ryder was uh, having this time to shine Man, that hit me so much. I was like, I was tearing up at that moment. It just, it just hit me so hard to see all of the animation involving her. 
And and then the mo like the moment that she used her noble phantasm, the, I can't. Um, I like I remember a bit of uh, like how the the name is, but I can't um, pronounce it. But man, the moment the the Pegasus appeared and she used uh, she used her noble phantasm and while being protected um, by Shiro and like that um, Rose Rose Ayas or something. I'm not too sure about the name of that shield. But man, that was impressive, and I mean, that was something that um, Archer used before during uh, Unlimited Blade Works, the, the season, or like, the route, I guess. Um, and again, I'm not too sure if that's the name of the route, but it's uh, the best way I can find to, uh, like, describe it, I guess. Um, but yeah, he used it uh, there against um, Lancer, and that was already really impressive. And I think um, Archer even used it during the previous movie, right? I, I believe it was against... Uh, uh, this shadow, he used it uh, to protect uh, all of them, uh, and that's also when uh, Shiro lost his uh, his arm, and then Archer sacrificed himself to give him uh, his arm and stuff. So yeah, that's um, it's always really really awesome to watch uh, this um, this animation and these noble phantasms being used. Um, and yeah, like I said, there's probably a lot of details that I didn't. Uh, uh, get this the first time uh, I watched the um, the movie, and that's when uh, like that's where you guys could uh, really help me out with. I mean, you guys probably uh, know a lot of um, things uh, about uh, uh, everything that happened, and you probably have a better understanding of um, of uh, what uh, was um, going on. Um, and yeah, I'm surely going to love to learn about um, every single detail of um, this story and like mostly uh, this route, uh, this route, Evans feel. Um, and it was um, like, of course, really different uh, from the other ones. So it was always really painful for me to see um, like Sakura going through all of these and uh, just like uh, suffering every time and the only times when uh, she could be um, actually happy or like when she could have uh, a, a bit of that feeling uh, was when she was um, by Shiro's side. So definitely really, really enjoyable to watch those moments with uh, with them together, like especially these uh, final ones. Um, and uh, like there's uh, that's one of the things that I didn't... Uh, quite uh, understand, so I believe it was Rin mentioning that uh, Shiro's body completely disappeared, so at that point I felt like um, he actually died there, um, but um, like uh, they were, um, like Rin and Sakura were together and uh, eventually like they went to this uh, shop or something, I'm not too sure of what it was, uh, and there was um, like this doll inside of um, inside of that case or something, I'm not too sure of what it was, uh, but I feel like that's related to Shiro, so uh, afterwards she was um, she was cooking um, and Shiro appeared, so I mean, I was confused, I didn't know if that was real or not, or if she was just uh, imagining having him by her side, since she loves him so much, um, but that was apparently real, so he was um, like appearing during this... Uh, these, uh, these other scenes, um, but yeah, then again, I'm not too sure, like, I'll need to, to rewatch that moment again, because that could still be just uh, Sakura imagining uh, him there, so I'm not too sure, I don't know if uh, other, if, uh, like, the other ones mentioned his name, and if they noticed that uh, he was there, like, Ryder and uh, uh, Rin and Taiga, like, they were uh, close to him during uh, those scenes, um, and I don't know if, um, if there's, like, some hint um, with them noticing him or not, so, like, what I'm trying to say is that if they clearly mentioned his name and stuff, and, um, and uh, like, looked at him, that uh, basically clears it up and uh, says that um, he was actually there. But if if there was uh, not uh, one of those cases, uh, of course I'm going to doubt uh, it a bit. So it's just uh, one of many details that um, I am thinking about uh, right now. Um, but yeah, that was um, it was 
also a really epic fight between um, Shiro and um, and Kirei. And uh, while it wasn't um, as impressive as uh, the one between Ryder and the Saber in terms of this... Um, I don't know, like the animation was also good, but I mean, all of the effects and how epic uh, it was, um, it still adds a lot of meaning to it. So that's definitely something uh, worth uh, re-watching. And uh, I always, um, I always like... Um, I don't know how exactly to say this. I mean, I don't um, agree with uh, Kirei's way of thinking and uh, is often planning on doing uh, all of these uh, questionable things and like they're often uh, bad for um, a lot of people. Uh, and this is mostly because of his desire to to like um, see something um, see something happening. Like it's uh, part of his wish. So it's basically um, his character and his way uh, of being. Um, and that's something that uh, I must say about him. I mean, I might not uh, agree with some of his decisions, but he's one of the best characters of this whole story. That's for sure. I always, uh, uh, I was always really interested on um, his character, and also one of the things that makes me love him a lot um, is not only his, um, like his. Um, his story and everything, uh, it's also his voice. Like, I really love, uh, uh, like, uh, the guy who gives a voice to his character. He does a phenomenal job and just, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, like, really hard to explain, but it's like it gives more, more life to the character and I just feel like uh, his voice is really suitable for this kind of, um, of character. So... That's something that um, that I really love about him uh, as well, and uh, of course it makes me remember uh, of um, the first uh, Asan when he appeared during um, uh, Fate, um, Fate Grand Order Babylonia. That was definitely an epic moment, and I mean, every time, I don't want to say every time, but it's uh, quite easy to, um, to notice um, his specific voice, so... When first Asen started talking, I mean, how could you not notice that it was Kira's voice? It's just so uh, distinct, I guess. It's really easy to um, to notice it, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's um, just something that uh, I wanted to share with you guys. Like, it's uh, it's um, it's really impressive to see uh, like how um, these voice actors give so much life to these. Um, to all of these characters. Um, and uh, now that I'm talking about this, uh, I might as well share my opinion about um, about dubs. So uh, I know that uh, a lot of you guys might uh, like dubs a lot, like uh, uh, English or like basically other languages being used to, um, to give life to these uh, characters. Um, and I'm uh, totally okay with it, of course. I mean, it's uh, something that um, I don't um, have anything against. Um, but um, I do have to say that I never really felt um, like... Um, I don't know, like... It's like I, I never really... Um, I don't want to say I never liked, I mean, it's uh, different, of course, um, but I don't know, like, I always loved um, watching um, anime in Japanese because of, um, like, the emotion that um, they have, and I'm not saying that the other, the, the people who make dubs don't have uh, emotions or anything, uh, it just feels different to me, like, I don't know, w whenever I hear a dub, uh, it's just um, not the same thing, I don't get that... Uh, uh, the same vibe that these uh, Japanese voice um, actors uh, give to the characters. I don't know, like, uh, how to clearly explain this. It's, again, something that uh, uh, I feel, and it's uh, hard to sometimes express uh, your um, emotions, or, like, to put them into words. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, I was never able to watch... Um, to watch uh, dubs because of that, just because it felt, uh, uh, like, really different, and... Uh, I want to say, at least to me, not as good as um, the Japanese version. Um, so yeah, it's something that um, always makes me love um, anime even more, like uh, to see how much passion these voice actors put um, into this uh, uh, into this job and like like giving uh, a lot uh, more life to all of these characters. 
Um, so yeah, it's just um, my way of uh, like uh, saying thank you to all of these guys for doing something like this and uh, to um, to like um, I know that I might be repetitive, but it's uh, mostly about this, like giving life to to all of these characters and some of them that um, I really love um, a lot. So really um, thankful for um, their job, um, and I mean. Also to everyone else who works um, on this industry, like this is only because uh, of all of them and uh, all of the fans, of course, like we all, um, like it's also our, um, like I don't want to say job, but uh, it's like uh, we owe them that, like we need to be thankful for everything they do and even if uh, they sometimes don't do something that um, we are like, um, like, sometimes we maybe expect uh, too much and then we might be disappointed uh, but that doesn't mean that um, they they should like um, like i don't know i don't know how to say this exactly but what i'm trying to say is that um, sometimes they might not do like um, the they not be they might not be as good uh, as uh, and I'm really messing up right now. I want to say this the right way and I'm trying really hard, but I don't want to be misunderstood. That's why I'm being like really careful about uh, what I say. Like I'm not saying that sometimes they fail or something like that, but um, I feel like sometimes we expect uh, a lot from them and sometimes we, we might be disappointed, uh, but um, we still need to take into consideration that uh, they're doing their best and uh, I mean it's not like they're going to be like um, able to please everyone that's just uh, impossible to do um, so yeah my point is that uh, no matter what uh, we need to praise them for what they do because in the end they are um, the ones making this possible and giving us uh, something um, something for us to watch and enjoy um, and they put a lot of love into this. There's no doubt about that. So that's basically what um, I was trying to say and just uh, really wanted to talk um, a bit uh, about uh, my opinion um, about this. Um, so yeah, now back um, to this movie. There was a lot of great moments and I mean right off the bat there was like so much action like instantly. There was this moment between Sakura and Green, and I'm not going to lie, it really felt like Rin was going to to die right um, at the start but thankfully that didn't happen so that was quite a scary moment and then there was also um Saber uh, stabbing Ryder so of course the start of that movie was already like um, affecting me a lot but uh, thankfully that wasn't the end for them so i really wanted to see um rider shining and uh, to not uh, to not see many of these um, of these uh, guys dying of course i mean uh, it's something that while i don't want it to happen uh, it's not like i'm not used to it actually happening so i remember um like fate stay night and limited blade works i reacted to it um and it was um, it was hard to deal with some of those moments. I mean, the one that instantly comes to mind uh, is that one with Ilya. I mean, it's quite sad that uh, she ended up having uh, a similar fate um, in this um, in this route, uh, like uh, the like the same fate as uh, with that other one. Um, but yeah, like uh, seeing that. Um, that episode, I I even think I remember the the number. It, it was episode nineteen, right? It was either eighteen or nineteen, or so I want to believe. So that was one of the most painful fate episodes I watched because of like just watching that happening to to Ilya. Uh, that really made me hate Gilgamesh a lot. So um, and I feel like Gilgamesh is um, also like I have. Um, a similar opinion about him that I had with um, with Kira, so they're like similar to me. Like they they're really cool characters, and sometimes they don't uh, uh, do things that uh, I can agree with. Um, but uh, again, they're really they're really great characters, and uh, makes uh, me really interested uh, on them and to see what else uh, they uh, they will do. 
Um, and yeah, it's um, it's something that um, I must give um, like uh, this anime how uh, it's uh, fairly easy to be invested on not just the story but uh, all of these uh, characters. Um, and yeah, there was um, like talking about this um, this thing about uh, loving characters. Um, it's something that um, happened a lot during this movie as well. So uh, I remember a lot of these scenes with um, like the servants. They were they were like um, I'm trying to incarnations, right? That's the word uh, they uh, they use. So it's not like um, uh, the dark sakura or like the shadow uh, was. Um, like um, summoning these servants, it was uh, they were basically incarnations, um, but it was really nice to see this detail about how they like when they were defeated, like with Hercules or for example, like Berserker, um, and then with Saber as well. Uh, just before they disappeared, uh, they were back um, to themselves, so they were able to say some words. Um, while um, being themselves, so they were not um, influenced by that power anymore. So, uh, also, talking uh, about this, I don't know, I want to believe that uh, that scene with the Berserker and how he was telling Kishiro to protect Ilya, that was the first time he ever spoke, right? I mean, all of the, the, the times I remember, um, like all of these moments I remember uh, with the Berserker from before, uh, it's mostly him screaming and just going um, on a rampage. So um, I want to believe that this was actually the first time uh, we heard um, uh, like Berserker talking. And it was beautiful. I mean, that whole moment with uh, how he was... Um, I mean, it was already obvious that there was this special bond uh, between uh, Berserker uh, and Ilya, but it was beautiful to see that moment, and uh, I really love when things like this uh, happen. It it just gives uh, a lot more meaning to that whole uh, situation. Um, and yeah, there was um, also this moment with Saber, and uh, it was also really beautiful to see, and of course sad at the same time, because uh, unfortunately... That wasn't um, the Saber we know anymore, it was uh, Saber Alter, like this uh, Alter version uh, of her. Um, but yeah, it was nice to see that um, brief moment with her talking with Shiro um, as um, the Saber we know from before. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, again, I want to talk about uh, a lot of things and uh, I just really want to say that this was... Um, this was a masterpiece once again, I mean, the other two movies had already impressed me so much and this one didn't disappoint at all, I mean, it was just um, a, like a, a really fun time to uh, like to watch all of these and I mean, while it was fun to watch, um, it was also pretty intense and there was a lot of painful moments, specifically um, the ones involving Sakura, of course, I mean, it's really hard to not feel bad about her. Um, and this instantly reminds me of that conversation that she had uh, with Rin. So that was a really emotional moment with um, Sakura fully expressing herself and telling uh, uh, her sister just uh, how she really felt about um, these uh, these years, like these uh, 11 years um, before, like how she, she was like used and uh, she... She, she like she basically didn't have um, a life of her own. She was never able to do uh, what she wanted, and uh, like she was like um, literally a tool for um, this guy. So that is um, definitely the thing I hated the most about um, about uh, this story. I mean, I don't I don't know if I should say the thing I hated the most, but it's pretty I high up there. Um, but yeah, it's something that, again, always um, made me feel really bad about her, and, uh, uh, I like, it's it's just, um, it's like a relief to, to see this uh, kind of ending for Sakura, I mean, she deserves this, she deserves to, um, to have, uh, like, to have happiness, to, like, have uh, a normal life with uh, uh, the ones uh, she loves, so yeah, this is, um, like, this is uh, really, like, Beautiful, of course, sad in a way because of uh, uh, the sacrifices that uh, were made. 
Um, but yeah, I want to go back to that scene with Rin and how Rin was uh, then replaying to Sakura with some um, like kind of like uh, uh, like harsh things. She, she was having a, a harsh attitude uh, towards uh, Sakura. But um, considering what happened afterwards, I want to believe that she did that on purpose, right? I, like it, it feels to me, at least, I might be wrong about this, and this is some of the details that uh, uh, I probably misunderstood or something. Um, but uh, right now, it feels like um, Rin did that, like she triggered Sakura on purpose um, to draw that power out of her, and then um, destroy it, right? I don't know if that was actually it, because, uh, like, in the end, she was still, um, like, she was still uh, about to stab her, and uh, I remember her mentioning that, uh, like, the moment she got this close to Sakura, she just uh, couldn't do it. So, this kind of makes me doubt, or, like, m makes me question, at least, if that was really... Um, done on purpose or not, because in the end she drew this power out, uh, out of Sakura, uh, and that might have still been on purpose, but um, she still had the goal uh, of um, of killing Sakura, but um, in the end she just couldn't do it, and uh, I'm really uh, happy for that, I mean, to see that uh, Rin uh, actually had these feelings towards Sakura, like she really loved her, she was not... Uh, anything like she was um, saying uh, um, before um, so yeah that was definitely a really emotional scene and I really felt that that's for sure um, and yeah again there's um, a lot of things that I'm thinking about and uh, I'm trying to talk uh, a bit uh, of um, each um, of them but in the end it's going to be hard to uh, remember them um, right now um, but yeah there's a um, there was also Zoken, and uh, it was crazy to see him being killed um, by by Kirei. I don't uh, that, like that was also something that confused me a lot. I don't know if they ever mentioned something about uh, Kirei loving this woman. I don't uh, remember this detail being mentioned during uh, uh, the other uh, routes. Um, but yeah, that was. Um, that was definitely like something that uh, I was surprised about, um, and uh, also like um, this child that he was talking about. So that's uh, one of the scenes that I want to um, to be like uh, more clear to me to fully understand what exactly uh, he was uh, talking um, about, because they even showed. Um, the woman he loved. I want to believe it was uh, that one. The one I believe she had uh, white hair. But um, I don't remember seeing her um, before, so I might be wrong about this. Like her face was even covered, so we could uh, mostly see um, see her um, air. Um, so yeah, it's um, again one of the things that I'm really curious about, and hopefully you guys will be able to uh, clear that up um, to me. Um, so yeah, I don't um, I don't really know what else to say. I like. One of the things that I must say, of course, and I feel like I already said this before, but uh, I'm just going to say it again. I really love how Ryder had all of this time to shine, man. It's, it's just something that um, warmed my heart so much. I mean, it was always so sad for me, like when I was reacting to, um, to Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, um, it always made me really sad that um, she ended up getting killed pretty early uh, during that war. I like I even remember the number of the episode. I believe it was episode 8 and don't ask me why I remember this uh, type um, of details, but for some reason I can uh, remember some um, episode numbers of like some scenes that uh, really affected me, I guess. Um but yeah, I might even be wrong about the episode number, but uh, I want to believe it was really 8. Um, it was either 8 or, or 7, so it's something that I'm even going to look up uh, afterwards and not the scene, because that scene was really disturbing with her, like, her neck twisting and stuff, that was really, really creepy. Um, and yeah, definitely a scene that I didn't um, really enjoy, of course, because I was, uh, um, like, I had just met her and instantly fell in love uh, with her design and wanted to see um, more of her. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't allow that to happen. So, of course, it makes me really happy to see that uh, during this Evansville uh, route, 
she finally had her time to shine, so probably the thing that made me the the happiest about uh, probably together with um, Sakura's ending and how she also she was also able to um, have um, like she's going to like have some happiness now like it's uh, something that of course makes me really happy about um, and yeah it's uh, again it was really impressive to see all of this animation with uh, Ryder and like that scene between uh, Ryder and Saber. Uh, it instantly made me remember the one between uh, Saber and Berserker. So probably the the two like the best. Um, I, I don't know how to say this. Like I want to say like those two were like probably the best um, fights of um, of this round. So uh, that's basically what I'm trying to say. I really love them, and to me those are the two most epic scenes, I think that's what I was trying to say before. Um, and yeah, I don't remember if the... I want to try and remember what exactly... Like, I'm trying to remember when things happen. So, I'm thinking about the fight between Lancer and um, Assassin. That was also a pretty cool fight to watch. But I think that was also during the second movie, right? So, I was trying to remember what exactly... Or like, which kind of fights we saw um, during uh, the first movie, and I feel like there was um, a really big one, but um, I'm not exactly not uh, being able to remember it. Maybe the fight between Lancer and, um, and Assassin was actually during the first movie. Not too sure, I wanted to believe that it happened moments before the one between Berserker and Saber. But I might be wrong about it. So it's it's really hard for me to remember when exactly uh, it happened. Uh, but nonetheless, it's undeniable that uh, a lot of these fights were really cool to watch. And uh, mostly like um, all of these animation that they use. And uh, one of the things that gives um, a lot of impact to it. And uh, just like I said before I started this video. I wanted to be able to fully enjoy this sound experience. It's something that... Uh, I loved about um, the first two movies, and not just the movies, I mean, the, the whole Fate uh, franchise, it has some really, really epic soundtracks, um, and uh, of course I was not going to watch this movie uh, without being able to hear uh, this, um, this music to its full uh, extent, so uh, I really wanted to be um, in full condition to enjoy this as much as possible, um, and I sure did, that was, and like, it's just like something you feel when a, a fight is starting and uh, you you notice that music starting as well, man, it just makes you pumped up, like really excited for what's um, about to happen, so really, really happy, I can instantly remember like the start of that fight between um, Berserker and um, Shiro, um, and also when um, Ryder and Saber were about to fight. So really epic moment. The like talking more now about the start of the fight specifically with the the soundtrack uh, playing at the same time, just really makes um, everything more epic. And like I was saying before, I was really tearing up the moment I saw. Ryder using her noble phantasm and uh, like just like now thinking about it it just gives me so many joy like just to see that happening in front of my eyes like Ryder shining and uh, like like I don't know again it's really hard for me to explain but just something that made me extremely happy so if there was one thing that um, made me love this movie a lot that was definitely watching um, watching Ryder and everything that she was able to do and thankfully she was also able to survive after all of this so she wasn't uh, um, killed um, like before at any point um, and it was amazing to see her um, afterwards with Sakura she was she was wearing that um, that outfit um, and um, I don't remember but um, I think the only time we we ever see um, Ryder using that uh, outfit um, it's when um, it's during Fate um, I'm trying to remember the name the basically the one with um, 
Emmy's uh, dinner or something like today's dinner uh, uh, today's dinner uh, at Emmy's house or something I think that was the name of the series right it was uh, a really short uh, one but man it was really enjoyable to watch it and I think that was the um, at least the first time I saw Ryder with those clothes um but I don't know if it was um, the only one so I might be um not remembering uh, another moment when she appeared with those um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because in the end, uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, I felt really happy about uh, how she was there afterwards and uh, still uh, being together with Sakura. And I want to believe that um, what's happening between, uh, or like what we see happening between uh, Sakura and the Rider, with Rider staying um, with her, even though this war is over. Um, it feels a bit um, similar to what happened between um, between Saber and um, and Shiro, right? I want to say Shiro, but it's also Rin. So I think uh, I, I'm talking about uh, Fate Stay Night and Limited Blade Works. Uh, by the end, we see that um, um, Saber is um, Shiro's uh, servant, um, but um, at some point. Uh, that pact uh, is broken, right? I think it, it's even Kasser with the rule breaker, and then they're not the master and servant anymore. Um, and then uh, Saber makes um, a pact with uh, Rin, right? And they become master and servant. So, uh, and I also like believe that uh, it was not during the the I don't know how to say this, but it was it was not during the those twenty five episodes, like the. The ending was not um, like the normal ending, or so to say. I don't know how exactly to to explain it. Um, but um, the thing I'm trying to explain is what happened during that special episode. So there was uh, this one called, um, I believe it was Sunny Day, uh, and it's like um, uh, like it's a different ending, like uh, what uh, could have happened or something. Like I'm not too sure how to how to say it. Uh, but during that one, they were able to keep uh, Saber in this world um, by, I think both of them became uh, her masters, right? So it feels like um, a, a similar thing is happening between uh, Ryder and uh, Sakura. She's like, uh, she's being able to keep uh, Ryder here with uh, her, um, uh, like, um, magic. Um, so yeah, that's um, definitely really nice to see and... Uh, of course, I really enjoyed that moment a lot with all of them together. With uh, like, it was really beautiful to see uh, the sakuras around them and uh, them having this uh, picnic. Um, and I mean, in the end, it's uh, something that um, I mentioned uh, before. So, uh, and by before, I think it was during the previous movie. I don't know if it was during something else, but I think they announced the um, the name of the next movie. Uh, by the end of the uh, of the previous one, right? So I think uh, I had learned by then that the next one was going to be called um, Spring Song. Um, and I don't know if they actually showed the scene with the Sakura. So, I mean, it's uh, just curious because her name is Sakura and she's like um, the main protagonist of uh, this route, probably together with uh, Shiro. Um, and it's, um, it's curious to see that um, this um, all uh, ended... Um, on spring, so uh, with uh, all of uh, those sakuras, like it's um, those sakuras are typical, uh, like um, of these times. I don't know how to say it, but it's they normally appear during um, spring. Um, so yeah, it just gave, um, like I don't know, just made everything a lot more beautiful, I guess. Um, and yeah, I feel like I still wanted to talk a lot about um, some other things, but again, it's going to be hard to. Um, think about everything I mean there was uh, a lot going on and uh, just um, like most of all I was not too worried about uh, not uh, understand not understanding some of the things that were happening uh, I just really wanted to um, to have fun uh, watching it so to me this is what matters the most and uh, I can always uh, look up um, some details afterwards like it doesn't mean that uh, um, I'm not going to enjoy what I just watch, uh, watched um, so yeah definitely really happy with this movie and uh, really happy that uh, I was finally able to watch it since uh, I was um, like I was um, 
really really sad like that that i was having this problem with my ear and i saw how you guys were like so like anxious to get this reaction um, out of me um and hopefully i didn't disappoint as well so uh, it was definitely really fun for me to um, finally react to this and uh, Again, really hope that you guys um, had fun watching this movie together uh, with me. Uh, it's um, always something that uh, uh, makes me happy to know that you guys um, enjoyed um, what uh, you saw. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know what else to say about this movie other than that it was uh, a masterpiece once, uh, once again. And um, I was able to, again, notice some of those uh, soundtracks, specifically during those uh, 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 fights, or especially during those uh, fights. Um, and, um, of course, I'm going to make sure to listen to each one of them. So there's some that may be, might be, um, like, not heard um, to its fullest during uh, the movie, uh, but it's always really fun to, uh, to me to hear all of the different uh, soundtracks. So... I don't know if there's going to be any soundtrack that's going to to like uh, top that one from the second movie. I want to say that the name of that uh, soundtrack, just so you guys can um, search it up, but I mean, it's the, the music that starts playing when Berserker and Saber start uh, fighting, so it's pretty easy to look it, it up, I guess. Um, but I believe the name of the song is called It Comes... Um, back over and over again like i don't know if it's over and over or once and once again um but it's something like that so of course it's um already talking about the uh, berserker and uh, his uh, nine lives um and that one to me at least so far um it's uh, my favorite soundtrack of this um, out of these uh, three movies so I'm going to have to listen to each of the soundtracks of this movie because there was like um I don't, um, I don't want to say a remix, it's not like a, a remix, but I guess it's sort of, like, I don't know how exactly to say it, um, but there was um, this uh, soundtrack playing when the Berserker was fighting against Shiro, um, and it felt uh, a lot like the one from, uh, like the one I just mentioned, the one from the second movie, so it was um, different, but it just gave uh, the same vibes. So I want to listen to that one uh, properly and uh, I also don't know if like some of these soundtracks might not even be complete uh, during uh, this movie and uh, uh, some of them might have more to it during the like the the album. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that uh, I'm going to look up. It's uh, something that um, I value a lot during anime. I mean, I love uh, the story, the characters and also... Um, the amazing uh, music that they that they put alongside with it so uh, it just uh, makes um, a lot of these scenes a lot more uh, epic and impactful um so yeah really really happy with all of this i'm trying to like as i'm talking uh, i'm trying to to remember some of uh, like some more things that uh, ended up happening um and yeah i want to mention some things that um I didn't uh, clearly understand, like, I just, um, I already mentioned some of them, but uh, I'm uh, now thinking about um, what was happening to Shiro's body, so it's like uh, his body was, um, I don't know, it was like there's, there was all of these blades coming out of it, and um, w when uh, he was fighting uh, Kirei, every time Shiro was uh, hurt, those blades came out and um, they injured uh, Kirei. So it's like um, every time Kirei was eating uh, Shiro, he was also getting injured. So that was um, quite something and uh, it's one of those things that um, I didn't uh, clearly understand and that I want to understand better, of course. Um, and yeah, it was, um, again, really, really like epic movie and uh, uh, there was... Again, that scene with um, with Shiro and all of those blades. Um, and again, that scene when uh, he appeared again. I don't know what exactly happened. Like I'm, I'm not remembering that moment when um, the pendant uh, was showing up and then it broke and that red uh, uh, light uh, appeared. Um, and then he was like um, holding hands uh, with Arthur, right? So, I don't know. When I watched that, it really... Like, I instantly remembered uh, that um, 
that moment between um, between him, uh, not like between him and Lancer, but it was when he got uh, killed by Lancer during um, Fate uh, uh, Fate Senate uh, Unlimited Blade Works. Um, he got saved by that, right? So I it, like it felt like the same thing happened, and uh, again, it's one of two things that I need to know better, like what exactly enabled Shiro to to be like uh, back after um, a long time. Um, and uh, again, it goes back to how I'm not even sure if that was um, like if he was really there or, or if it was uh, uh, Sakura imagining him there just because of um, like the love she has for him. Um, but yeah, again, I just really want to talk about of things, and uh, I'm just um, I don't know. I like I feel like there's so much that I want to to say, but yeah, it's 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 not easy to remember. Like, uh, every single thing that uh, I saw. Um, and yeah, either way, I'm definitely going to rewatch this again. And as I was saying before, uh, at some point, I'm most likely going to rewatch all of these uh, three movies, like, um, in a row. So, going to watch the first movie, then second and third, like, uh, right uh, one right after the other. Um, and that's probably going to be a really cool experience. So, probably also helpful to make me uh, realize uh, some things um, a lot better, like... It's something that happens a lot with me, like, I, I watch something for the first time, I'm not going to get some of the details, of course, I mean, I don't think um, anyone um, can do that, like, notice every single thing that happened um, the first time um, you watch it, um, but it's uh, always really enjoyable to me to then rewatch it and, um, like, realize some things that um, I didn't uh, before, so it's always like that feeling of, oh, this um, actually happened before and I didn't notice, so it's also um, like a, a really um, nice feeling, I guess, um, but yeah, definitely, as I said, going to rewatch this um, at some point, um, and yeah, there was also that moment with, um, like, again, I'm thinking about a lot of things and uh, I'm going to try and talk about as many as possible, but um, there was... Um, that moment with Shiro using um, something like, um, I want to say totally new, just because of the name uh, he gave it. So there was this, um, how was it? Nine Lives Unlimited Works. That was it, right? I don't think there was Blades. The, it was just Nine Lives um, Unlimited Works. And that was really epic. Like, um, it was like a name I have never heard before. So it was uh, really um, something that uh, really, um, with a lot of impact, like that's uh, what I'm trying to say. Um, and yeah, it then just uh, like traced uh, his weapon and I don't know, it felt like, um, I don't know, or at least I don't remember much of Hercules' uh, story and if he had uh, these, um, these many weapons, like I... I wanted to believe that he did, but at the same time, I'm not too sure about it, so I'm not, not really going to try and um, and talk about that specific uh, detail. Um, but um, when I saw all of those flashbacks, um, it really felt like he was um, tracing um, all of his weapons, but I guess he was uh, uh, tracing uh, that um, the one like this Berserker actually uh, uses. Um, so yeah, that was a really epic moment, and to see that he was, like, he hit uh, Berserker, and can we just talk about um, the effects that they use as well during that moment? I mean, th the the ground being, like, um, like, split and stuff, that was really, really epic to show, like, the impact of uh, the, the attack, so really enjoyed that specific detail, um, but also afterwards, how he was able to defeat uh, Berserker, but um, Berserker's weapon, it was right on top of his head, so if he took like um, one uh, or two more seconds to deal that uh, blow, uh, Shiro would have killed there, would have died there, so that was quite something and there was a lot of, um, a lot of tension as well during this movie and that was uh, one, of, um, one of those moments, that for sure. Um, and yeah, it's again really like this. Of course, makes me makes me remember um, of Ilya, um, and it's really ha uh, really sad to see her having uh, the same fate here. So of course, um, like something had to be done, and uh, she didn't want uh, Shiro to be the one sacrificing himself in order to do this. I mean, in the end, 
She knows that Shiro is um, a good guy and that uh, he wants uh, to leave. Um, so yeah, she sacrificed herself knowing that. So, I mean, of course, uh, it makes me sad. But at the same time, I really love her for what she just did. So Ilya is one of those characters that I uh, like instantly loved a lot. Um, and... Um, of course, uh, like reminds me of uh, Fate Khalid and when she had uh, uh, the time to, um, to actually shine. Um, so yeah, it's um, not that I'm talking about this, it's something that makes me re really happy. The fact that they created these uh, many routes, like there's uh, plenty of, uh, like, um, I don't know how to say this, like not universes, but there's a lot of uh, different stories related to this uh, Fate uh, franchise, so... It's always really nice to see that even though in some uh, of these uh, routes uh, some characters they like uh, don't have uh, the time to shine um in other ones they like it's uh, mainly about them so with this I'm specifically talking about Ilya and Ryder I guess there might be some other cases um, uh, as well not just going to mention all of them right now uh, but these two are the ones that instantly come to mind. And uh, and also Sakura, of course. I mean, she uh, was um, most of the time uh, a side character during uh, most of this um, franchise. Um, and now, together with Ryder, she finally had her time to, to shine. So, of course, um, it's something that um, I enjoy a lot to see that uh, um, they, they had... Um, they're like, um, I don't know, like I'm going to say it again, they had their time to shine, like it's it's always something that um, that made me sad uh, before, like to see that they didn't get that much screen time before. Um, but yeah, now it, um, it finally happened and uh, with Ilya as well, I mean, she was not exactly a side character, like she appeared quite often, um, but she never had... Um, like a great ending so she actually ended up dying during um, both of these routes um, but then there was Fate Khalid and it was um, really enjoyable to watch that and it's still not over so I'm still looking forward to the um, I don't know if fourth or fifth season since it's a uh, I think uh, like like two of them are supposed to be the same season so I never know if it's uh, uh, if I watch the fourth one or the, uh, or the third um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to see more of her and uh, I enjoyed uh, um, what I saw of her during uh, this movie um, and um, also the outfit she was using, just like, um, it's like she was a chibi Iris Veal, so that was um, something that I found really adorable to see her uh, with those clothes, even though it was during uh, something that... Um, like something that was going to happen and something uh, bad that like she was going to sacrifice herself. Um, and yeah, now that I'm thinking about Irisville, I'm actually glad that I remembered her. Bef uh, because this reminds me of something I wanted to talk a lot uh, about. So really happy that I just remembered this. I, I would feel... Uh, I would have felt really bad if I ended the video without talking about this. Um, and it's, uh, again, one of those things that I didn't um, clear clearly understand and it was that moment uh, when they were showing this um, this whole story from uh, 300 years ago so there was um, these three guys representing um, each of the three families creating this um, the the holy grail uh, uh, war um and uh, they were like they were basically waver shinji and um, Iris Veal, so I want to believe they basically use the same appearances, but they're not actually, it's not actually them, I mean, this was 300 years ago, so that wouldn't be possible, uh, but I guess, like, like some people um, with a similar appearance to them uh, could have um, lived during those times, so of course this is, like, um, debatable, I guess, um, but yeah, it's uh, something that I found really curious, like the moment that uh, Waver showed up as Lord uh, El Meloy, um, that was something that um, I liked, I mean, it was nice to see him uh, here, but um, I was not entirely sure of um, like why uh, that was happening, so definitely one of the things that I want to be cleared up, um, and yeah, there was um, 
There's also something I wanted to talk related to this. Um, and it's... Um, I don't remember it. It's not really related to this, I guess. But uh, it's um, Sakura's grandfather. I don't... Um, I don't remember who it is. It's a... Uh, it's Zoken, right? Zoken is uh, Sakura's grandfather, right? I might be extremely, extremely wrong about this, and if I am, I am sorry. But uh, I think that's it, right? Like, at some point, um, she realized that uh, there was this thing inside of her, and that was uh, actually, um, like, her grandfather. Um, and that is Zoken, right? So, it's, it's like, um, did Zoken put... Um, a part of him inside of Sakura, so, uh, like um, 10 years ago or something. I'm not too sure if that was the case, um, or if it was um, actually Kiri's doing. So they kept talking about um, how Kiri did something to Sakura, and I remember Sakura being helped by Kiri. That's, uh, I believe, when he even mentioned um, what was going uh, on with uh, her brain and how... Um, I don't know how exactly to explain this, like, I feel like I understand this, but it's going to be hard to, to explain it. Um, but it's like, um, those uh, worms um, are, like, they feed um, on her hormones, right? Her love um, feeling. So, uh, I think that's why she keeps having this uh, sexual desire or something, like, uh, when uh, she has lack of it... Um, like, uh, she starts getting really ill, uh, and this is because of those worms, right? I mean, they feed on that specific uh, emotion, so she's, um, like, basically going to be excited um, all the time. Um, so yeah, that's, um, of course, just one of the many things that makes me really sad about Sakura, and like I said before, uh, it was always really painful for me to, to, to see and, like, to just... Um, to feel like the situation that she was in, um, and yeah, I'm like, um, at the same time, I'm happy that um, she finally got uh, a decent uh, ending, and hopefully um, she will have, um, like, lots of happiness from now on, together with the ones uh, she loves, um, and yeah, this reminds me of th those final moments and um, the different outfits they were using, um, and I don't know, I feel like um, there was a time skip, right? I'm not too sure, but um, I don't know, like, um, it's probably something that um, I need to um, to see again, like, the, the like times w w when this happened, I'm not too sure about this, uh, but um, what makes me question it is the fact that um, Rin, uh, her appearance, uh, and also Sakura, uh, and, uh, and I mean, if it was uh, both of them, of course the other ones uh, that showed up during that moment, the final one, um, I want to believe that they were older, right? Uh, this, um, I'm, I'm simply talking um, about this because not only the difference uh, in their outfits, but I also really felt like they were um, like grown, uh, grown up, so that they uh, some time had passed. So, um, specifically... Rin, for example, I remember uh, the end of um, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. I believe uh, Rin went to um, uh, Britain and uh, Shiro went uh, with her, right? Uh, I believe Shiro even meant uh, Waver at that point, and I wasn't even uh, aware that that guy was uh, actually Waver. Um, and um, I believe uh, that was like um, two years after, so. Uh, we could notice um, some differences on Rin, mostly maybe her hairstyle. I mean, she 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 had a different hairstyle, um, but I don't know. Like the wall air, the wall art style about her um, was um, a bit different, making her look uh, older. Um, so yeah, that um, that's something that I'm wondering about right now. If that actually happened um, right here by the end of this movie, like some time passed and they were showing. Uh, uh, these moments during uh, spring, um, but yeah, it's um, again one of the things that uh, I pro I'm probably going to be more aware of uh, after a while, after looking up uh, some of these details and after uh, all of you guys help uh, as well, hopefully you guys will be able to help me as much as possible with um, like uh, providing uh, information about this, um, this story. 
Um, and yeah, I feel like this was um, about everything that uh, I wanted to talk about uh, um, this movie. Um, so yeah, with this, just really hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.